Hi and welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Journal Eclectic and I'm Carol. So um, this third part will be about uh, decorating everything. Uh, it's not going to be a fin finish on this video, but this is kind of what I was doing. So this is a, a dictionary page that I uh, glued a napkin over it. These uh, little square were actually part of the uh, digital kit uh, that was a bit uh, uh, for maybe mo mo Mother's Day. So I will be doing something else with that later on. The polka dot page uh, is actually there to uh, hide a bit of um, secret space. So on this little uh, pocket, I actually uh, kept the tab uh, at the end because I didn't know if I wanted to make it into a pocket or just a card, which came in handy. So this way I can uh, put things inside the little pocket and not be worried about things being too uh, tight. Now I made this <clears throat> uh, journal tag with a uh, line dot arrow uh, freebie. Like I said, I was trying to use everything around uh, me on my desk in uh, uh, length uh, and space. There is way too much stuff on the, around me, so I need to use them up. You probably know what that feels like. When I use a copy paper to make my ephemera, I usually back them up with a coffee dyed paper because uh, really uh, copy paper is not sturdy enough to just be on its own. This is a paper clip I made uh, on another video. The hidden paper clip that also serves as a little tab since it goes out uh, away from the page. Another journal card made with a line dot arrow freebie. I think this was part of the April uh, 2024 challenge freebie. I really like how the accented colors of blue and dark brown and all the others that I can see uh, from the, the the freebies I got uh, really ma matching up with everything. I will need to, of course, uh, ink around the pages and uh, to make them uh, look a little bit older. So I am trying to use all the papers left on my desk and this is uh, one of them. Also uh, the papers that you see on that notepad I did uh, cut with my Cricut 
on the previous uh, videos. I also added some uh, coffee dyed paper in it. I'm also adding these uh, papers at the lower part of the page and I'm also sorry for not being uh, in the center of my camera. Uh, it seems like what I see on my screen and what I, uh, it's been recorded uh, as a problem so I'm probably going to uh, make marks on my uh, mat so I, ke so I can stay uh, in the middle of it. Now this is a nice way to also uh, use your scraps on the fly. You make uh, clusters on the side of the page. Now again, leather parts of uh, Line Dot Arrow uh, freebies and some old pictures uh, that I got from uh, Bohemian Crafting on her Patre Patreon. And I'm using those uh, little piece of paper to hold it in place. At first I wanted to use a corner uh, punch to make the holes, but since I wanted uh, um, crooked, it didn't work, of course. So this is how I'm going to use it. I'm also just putting it in the um, little tag, uh, the blue rose. As if you know, you you found uh, this picture, you put it on a paper and now you're just uh, securing it in your journal. It's kind of how I think about things when I uh, try to embellish uh, my journal at what I would put in the pocket, so slide in the belly band. Now this was another freebie, the little girl on the uh, playing card is a freebie from Nonstop Papercraft on the Facebook group. So all you have to do is, uh, of course, just like Lando Taro, you have to uh, uh, apply to the Facebook group and uh, you will get accepted pretty easily. And you get all sorts of freebies plus uh, challenges, which are very fun. Always a nice gift too. So I'm trying to use up uh, this page, uh, this blue uh, uh, argyle uh, motif page, uh, because I wanted to make it um, uh, aligned through the journal. So you can see this pattern a bit everywhere. So it's not like uh, you just have one of that and nothing else. This is how I make uh, the coordination of these eclectic pieces and I've just added the mini ephemera that I'm going to of course uh, ink on the edge Now this is also a nice way to show you how I uh, fussy cut. So I usually move uh, more the paper than the, than the scissors. And there's always a little bit of tension from the end that is holding the paper. And this tension kind of helps when you're making uh, round cuts. Now this is a little discovery page and uh, I'm also trying to use at this point not less glue but just uh, using it on the surrounding of the of the papers that I, that I glue. So this way they don't warp as much and I don't need to use as much. Not that uh, uh, Eileen's glue is actually uh, pricey 
but it just helps with the not warping the paper. And really, it's not necessary to soak up your papers with the glue. You just want to uh, glue them on the paper. So a little goes a long way. Now these coin envelopes came with the digital kit and uh, I'm, uh, I'm going to glue them and ink them. Of course, I should have inked the inside uh, while it was still open. I'm not a fan of those coin envelopes. I, I, I see that they are very uh, cute, but as far as holding things inside or anything, it's not exactly useful embellishing the pocket I like that polka dot green Now when you have little ephemera like that, like uh, the rose, you're always putting them on uh, an old page uh, paper, an old paper page, book page, <laughs> that's the word, it always gives them a, a nice background. And again, I'm trying to fit uh, the blue everywhere along with the grungy style of the, the paper from Lando Taro. Trying out things. Now I didn't know if I was going to put it way up or way down, and uh, I finally uh, put it in the middle. I didn't want to keep the the the, the clear background. I wanted some pattern there. And things do uh, come together very nicely. Now, uh, if you're still with me I've, uh, at this uh, 13 minutes, uh, I will encourage you to subscribe to my channel, to comment, anything, just say hi, and to like the video. This will help my uh, channel to grow, and it has no cost to you. There's also uh, will be a freebie on my coffee shop uh, they are free so uh, I think you only need to uh, enter a zero so you can access the freebie but you won't be charged anything of course it's a freebie now this seems to take some time but uh, you always need to check if you actually like what what you're doing, where you're putting it. That's what the junk journals are fun for. Always check the little places, this uh, white space I almost left, so uh, now I'm actually uh, embellishing it. We don't like white space in our junk journals. <laughs>
Adding words to your journal is also always fun. It uh, really attracts the eye and makes you wonder. Like this was a uh, be happy. That's fun. Uh, my tab punch. I really like this time this tab punch. It uh, gives some uh, uh, choice to usually the circle one. So I just put it uh, where there's a there are some uh, notch on the side, and when you uh, put the punch right there, it gives you that result. So thank you, and I will see you in the final video. Bye.